I'm really interested in um, light as a medium, and certainly, like um, in in this work, I wanted to reference light not so much in a photographic way, but in a in a performance type way. My name is Marianne Nicholson. I'm Zawadenok First Nations from Kinkam Inlet in British Columbia. The name of the artwork is Kankyak Kawi, which refers to the Milky Way. Um, and it speaks about the stars in the sky as being sewn together. And I was thinking of that in the same way that we would think of a river system. So the Milky Way is a river in the sky. And so what I wanted to do was to recreate that river system symbolically uh, as a whole. So in this piece, there's two panels that are set inside a structure that um, mimics the peace arch. The symbols that form the river are uh, of, say, the spirit of the river. And then on the other side, um, we have pictographic images. And pictographic images were often carved over great lengths of time by indigenous peoples along river systems and sites of significance in the land. You know, the border that is created across the landscape is a conceptual one, and it's created by nation states and agreements made between people. But it actually doesn't exist in and of itself in the land. And the reason why we pay attention to it is because of symbols like the peace arch. So we build something solid to give us a sense of something which is actually quite intangible and only exists in terms of agreements. So the river is real. The river has a life to it and it has an agency to it. And in the piece, the river is recreated by that which is intangible, which is the, the light that falls on the floor. So there's this kind of ironic, um, I guess, reflections in, in the piece. And what I wanted to do with the light, which, co which comes across as intangible, is break through that tangible solid structure of the peace arch um, reference through that use of light. So it, it's a symbolic way of kind of reversing the relationship once more. I think ultimately the symbolism in the work is actually quite hopeful and it shows the strength of the river in and of itself, not as a resource, not as a thing to be used, but as a spirit that has agency. The perspective that indigenous peoples bring in is that we try to acknowledge that these things have a right to be as they are, and they are not just things for us to be used.